hiccups. Uh, there seems to be some confusion about the the rehydration clause and and who's responsible mm. for putting it in. Can right. you clarify that for us? Uh, well, the clarification is uh, the IBF has a rule, um, and there's there's a ten pound limit rule uh, where where the IBF feels and and their their research and their doctors have have come to the conclusion that. A fighter shouldn't a fighter sh a fighter shouldn't gain more than ten pounds after a weigh-in. It's it's somewhat uh, um, you know bad for your for your system for yourself. It can be dangerous. So the IBF uh, you know uh, implemented that rule, uh, the ten-pound rule, and therefore uh, therefore Jacobs cannot weigh more than uh, a hundred and seventy pounds come fight night. I asked Canelo this yesterday. There, there is a notion that uh, judges are biased mm -hmm. toward him. As a promoter, how do you deal with those accusations? You know, I, I think, I think, um, I think there's judges that maybe are influenced because of the popularity of a fighter, you know, mm -hmm. and there's judges who are who just don't care. Um, you know, uh, there's judges who look at aggressiveness, there's judges who look at boxing skills, there's b fighters who, uh, b judges who look at, um, you know, technique, and it just depends on, on what judge is, is judging that particular fight. But, you know, I, I, get, I get asked from fans all the time, like, you know, why did you tamper with the judges? Why did you do this? Why? I'm just a promoter. I have no clue whatsoever. I mean, there are a lot of judges who miss it by a mile. Mm -hmm. When I hear scorecards like 118, 110, and then the other two judges are 114, 113, like what happened there? What are you watching? What are you seeing? Um, I, I think, look, uh, Canelo Alvarez is a fighter who fights with a lot of heart, a lot of pride. He's very smart. He's... he's uh, He's, uh, he's, he's a fighter to, that, that one you know, admires. Uh, and same with Jacobs. I think, I think, uh, I think uh, when a fight goes the distance and you leave it up to the judges, when you leave it to, the, when you leave it up to a human, there's always going to be error. You know, there's always going to be error. And when it's a close fight, you can't really blame anybody. But obviously, like for instance, in the first Triple G fight with Canelo, there were two scorecards that were well, like on the button, and then there was a scorecard that was like a landslide for Canelo. I didn't understand that. That was wrong, and so the human error. I mean, it's 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 gonna happen. Um, how can we change that? Maybe they need better training, the judges. Uh, but but uh, I I feel that. Uh, you know, Jacobs, what he brings to the table and what Canelo brings to the table, I think it's going to be a great fight. It's going to be a terrific fight. And obviously, may the best man win. What do you see for the future?